Hey, good afternoon. It's a cold day in September. And we're gonna make some chewy fudge brownies using the mix. Um, many people um, think it's very difficult to make, but of course it's quite easy. You just need a carton of this stuff. Um, you know, back in the 50s, they used to put artificial egg in here <laughs> too. Um, but they leave the egg out now and the oil out so that you can feel like you're making it all from scratch. All right, or as much as you can from scratch. So you're part of the cooking process. All right, so this is a, a baker's corner. You can get it at any Aldi's. And it, uh, I'll get the pan in a minute. It's uh, supposed to be on a 13 by nine inch family size pan. So we should be good. Uh, you can also do it on an eight by eight pan and it'll be a little bit thicker. And so I will put that over here. First of all, you need to uh, preheat the oven as directed below and grease or use the cooking spray for the bottom of the pan. All right. Uh, the temperature it says for this particular product uh, on the 30 by 9 pan is 350 degrees. So I will go do that first and we'll worry about the pan next. Okay, so I'm now big, heating up at 350 degrees. All right. Um, we'll use this later. This is the spray for the pan. Um, so once you've got that all ready, um, we're gonna mix everything nicely. You're supposed to have one uh, quarter cup of water. Uh, I've got too much there, but I will, I'll show you in a minute. And we need our mix. So we cut out the mix for the chewy fudge. And we of course just pour it into the thing. I'd have my daughter help, but she's taking a bath. It got really cold. It's just like the first week in September, second week in September. So we have to get something to warm up the house. Oh, by the way, the Chiefs are playing football tonight. Are you going to watch? I think they're playing the Texas Texans. All right. And then it says to add a quarter cup. If you have a cup from like this, you put it in a quarter cup of water. Right up to that crown there. Okay. And then we need to have on top of that two thirds of a cup of vegetable oil. I guess it means it heated up to 350 degrees very quickly. That was a big fast beep. We hope that's the case anyway. All right. And uh, the three quarters of oil is up to here. See it? Again, where that crown is. Sounds like it's almost ready. The 
it beeps again, I'm going to know something's wrong. If it beeps again, we'll know something may be wrong. We'll see. We haven't uh, baked in the oven since last year. Uh, I don't know, seven, eight months ago. Anyway. Oh, I'll have to go check on that. I'll go ahead and put the two eggs in. So after you put the oil in the water, uh, you put two eggs in the mix. We've got everything here. I'm going to try to stir it. A little help from the camera. I don't know what that oven's doing. <laughs> we bought it last autumn. Well, I don't want to spill any of that chocolate sauce. So Stop tilting. Feel like a uh, guy in dances woods when he's stirring the coffee, or trying to mix the coffee up, make coffee beans. Okay, that mixes really well. I'm surprised. Need to use my left hand a little bit. <sighs> Using different muscles is good, right? Breathe in and out. Let's <laughs> say so you do it right. Okay. Yeah, usually Americans start making their own uh, things like macaroni and cheese by the time they're six years old or and then they start on cakes when, by the time they're eight. So we're used to that, and it's this kind of cake. Now, people can do it from scratch, uh, getting all the ingredients. Let me wipe my fingers. I'll show you what we've mixed so far. All right. Now I gotta, I'll go get the pan, but in the meantime, I'll check up on the, uh, what's happening in the oven. Okay, so now we've got our pan. Let me uh, move this out of the way. Turn this too. We need to either spray or grease the pan. And my wife has a, surprisingly, a, a spray. So, look at my belly. Already got a lot of food in there. So, maybe we'll give this away. Um, there's a football game tonight, the Kansas City Chiefs. I said our playing the Texas, uh, uh, Dallas Texans. And so, I mean, the Texas Texans. Excuse me. So, maybe I can take a brownie over to Fable's house. Is the 
I wouldn't say I'm in very, it's very. It's a nice frost in our pudding right now. little bit out of there huh especially if you're trying to hold the hold the bowl I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over should equal things out real quick. good reminder not to let your oven burn um but anyway that's how you make uh chewy fudge uh cookies from a cookie mix i hope you enjoyed this and if your kids want to try this please uh you know uh, americans usually start this when they're by the eight years old so please uh join us in this tradition i hope you like this wherever you're at and i'll share that with you uh, later if you come by to get a fudge brownie Take care. Uh, subscribe to this channel, you know. And also, this is the Kevin Stoda channel, so be sure to like it. Thank you. Try in here. Let's see. What is Kenzie trying here? Hmm? I don't know. Not mm. much. This tastes good, though. Mm. Mm -hmm. What about that one? You eat that one? That one's by itself. I'll take them. Mm. Chewy brownie? No. It says it's supposed to be chewy. It is. Mm, and you're chewing. All right. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Mm. I'm going to take the others over to somebody else's house.